we have collection with four samples here. Let's look at this data. It's um, some kind of a variant file. So this is position 10 in the genome of unknown animal. And then that position we have A to C change. And sample two is obviously a similar format and so on. If you look carefully, uh, so this sample three contains a site at position 20, sample two doesn't. And sample three again does contain that change at position 20. Let's suppose that position 20 is very important. It's some kind of a functionally important site in our organism. So what I would like to do is to retain only those elements in my collection that do contain sign 20. So that would be sample 1 and that would be sample 3. Uh, let's do that. So I'm going to do it uh, using a combination of tools. So I will sort of uh, do a conditional um, filtering here. Actually, while I'm doing this, let's name that history and that would be called filtering collection. So let's go to collection operation and select collection uh, collapse collection tool. This is the tool we used in previous screencast. We're going to be collapsing this collection. We are not going, we're just, yes, we're going to keep one header line and we are going to prepend the file name. Same line and each line in data set. So that's the collection, keep one header line, prepend file name, let's run it. Once it's finished, let's see what we got. If we click on, uh, if we look at this data set, you can see that this is just aggregation of all data from all collection elements. Now let's filter this file uh, to uh, figure out which samples contain that site 20. For this, I'm going to use filter and sort a group of tools. I'm going to use filter. And here I'm going to write the following expression. So C2 corresponds to column two. These numbers here show how many columns, and what their numbers are in the given data set. And I would like only those rows from that data set that contain number 20 at the second column. And this is why I'm using two equal signs because in programming languages, one equal sign is assignment operator, and two equal sign, that's actually test for equality. So give me all the rows where C2 equals 20. And this file has one header, header line here, so that's the line I would like to skip. So I would like to skip one header line. And let's run. All right. So what we have is the header line and only those rows which contain number 20 in the uh, second column. So these are really the identifiers of the collection elements that I would like to filter from my initial collection. So I need to do two things. First of all, I need to get rid of that header and I need to only retain that first column. So I'm going to do this in two steps. First, I'm going to text uh, manipulation and I'm going to use remove beginning of a file tool. So I just want to remove the first line. Okay. And now I need to extract that column only. So while I'm back in um, text operations, I'm going to use cut tool. And here I'm just going to cut column one. C1 again stands for column one. Okay. So that's the labels of the elements that we need to pull out. And uh, to finally do this, let's go back to collection operations and use the new tool. Uh, and this screencast is really about this tool, which is called filter list from contents of a file. So the input collection here, let's collapse all the data sets so we can, uh, so we can see better. So our original collection has three data sets. Here we only want to extract two. You can see that these uh, lines are identical to the <clears throat> names of the two data sets that we want to pull out. So that's the input collection. Now we want to remove data sets from the collection if they are absent from this file we just generated. And that's data set number eight. 
and um, let's execute. Okay, so that tool will produce two collections. One collection with the data sets that we wanted to filter out, sample one and sample three, and the other with the ones that were not included, sample two, the data sets that were excluded from the collection, that we wanted to exclude from the collection because they don't contain that site uh, 20. 